Butterfly Conservation have known this site has been an important butterfly site for many, many years. And we've been working in partnership with the Canals and River Trust for the last four years. What we've got is one of these adoption schemes. And so what we've done is try to restore these very rare limey or calcareous grasslands. So we're removing a lot of the, the scrub that's invaded the site over years. Uh, and what's really good is we monitor the site scientifically and the numbers now uh, for the key species have been fantastic. I mean, the grizzled skipper, where we used to see numbers in just ones and twos, each year now on the transect, we're seeing virtually 60, which actually proves the work works. I come down there twice a week and I've learned so much. I like to think I'm actually making a difference and I thoroughly enjoy it. And so here I am and I'll be back next week. I'm quite new here actually. I've only been doing it a couple of weeks. So yeah, it's quite exciting seeing all the flowers come back that they like. But I'm actually learning about their preference for a specific age of plant and it's been quite interesting. Most of the people here are all butterfly conservation members. Some actually just come because they like the free logs. Uh, some really are interested in the ecology. What we're doing is working to help not only the butterflies but all the other uh, wildlife here. Uh, and, and some basically use it as a green, a green gym to keep fit. We meet lots of locals walking with their children and with their dogs and you know people from the narrowboats and they're always very interested in what we're doing, especially the children. That's, that's fantastic, they really love it. For instance, where we're working, down the bank, down there, this time last year, there's no way that anybody would have been standing there. These partnerships between organisations are very important. Where we're working today is actually the south-facing bank of the canal. It's very warm, the sun shines on it a lot, and butterflies being cold-blooded need to have that warmth to grow to a chrysalis as soon as they can. And so we're hoping that bank will be very important for all these rare butterflies that are now found on the site, thanks to the conservation work we've done. It's like the snowball going down the hill. The more sort of you do, the more success you have. And it makes you want to do more because you know it works. And that's where I think the canals and river trusts are fantastic because they've got all these sites and they keep saying to me, how do you fancy doing a bit of work over here? And so, you know, if we can, we will do.